What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute since I posted, probably about two weeks. Um, had some family come down from Canada, uh, so I took a little break from posting and making videos and stuff, but we're back at it. Um, so hit that like and subscribe button if you're new here. Um, if you keep returning to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and let's get this video going. So today we're gonna be talking about uh, the ordering process for Ford and I think this is the same for most car manufacturers it's gonna be similar um, but I'm gonna talk about you know my experience not my experience but my uh, how it went for me ordering this Mustang and why I did it because uh, I see a lot of people they don't really understand how the process goes I see people in groups asking questions and things like this um, so this video is kind of just to let you know what to expect when you order a vehicle um, through Ford and why, in my opinion, I think it's better to order and wait uh, than to buy something off the lot. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. here in the Mustang we're gonna go ahead and get started as to why I ordered this car instead of buying one off the lot uh, at the time that I ordered this car dealerships were marking these up like crazy I mean any car at the time I bought this towards the end of that big uh, I don't even know what you call it cars crazy price whatever I ordered it at the end of 2022 in September um, the reason I ordered it is because the dealership I ordered it from if you order the car, you get it at sticker price, and that's that. Um, so that's why I did it. That's why I think it's good to order a car, because you get to pick out your options and you get it at sticker. Uh, I actually got this car below sticker um, after it was all said and done, just because, you know, one of the good things about ordering your car is while you wait, you can still shop around and compare prices, and so you can kind of use that as a negotiating tactic. Um, you know, I found one four hours away that was... I think 6,000 under sticker. Uh, and so I, I pretty much told the dealership, I was like, hey, it's not the exact car, but it's close and it's, you know, a good price. All right, can you guys compete with that? And so they did. Uh, so ended up with this car below sticker. Uh, so I'm gonna start off saying, I mean, look into ordering a car if that's what you're looking. I know dealerships are different. I've heard of dealerships marking up orders, um, but the one I went to, they don't do that. Uh, and honestly, it's not a bad deal because it's a $500 refundable deposit. I've heard some dealerships do $1,500, uh, but I think you can negotiate that down as well to where they'll let you put $500 down because I've done it at a, I was going to do it at a GMC dealership for a truck. Um, I knew somebody there. I knew somebody there. They, uh, did $1,500 deposits, and I told him, I was like, well, Ford did $500 deposits, uh, and he's like, well, we'll accept that, we'll do $500, but anyways, that's like your first step of the order process, $500 down, print out your order sheet, it has all your options that you have on there, all the standard equipment, and you sign it, just make sure when you sign that, that they put the price on there, and they sign it as well, so they don't try to upcharge you, um, and that leads me to the next thing by signing that. When you order a car, at least through Ford, I don't know how other dealerships are, you're locked in. You're not locked in, but you have the option to use the interest rate at the time you order the vehicle versus the time the vehicle arrives. So when I ordered this vehicle, interest rates were like 4%. By the time the car came in, interest rates were 8%. So uh, with me doing that, I was able to get a 4% interest rate at a time when everybody else is getting 8% with, you know, could have better credit score than me, whatever, best credit score, and you'd still get 8%. So that worked out in my favor. Okay, after you put your $500 down, um, they submit your order. You'll get a order confirmation email from Ford. It'll look like this. Uh, after that, it's, you're just gonna play a waiting game. Um, you'll get your order confirmation uh, at the time that I'm 
talking about this. I don't know what the dates on my emails that I'm posting are. Uh, but a couple weeks after you get your order confirmation, you'll get another email that looks like this saying your car has been scheduled to be built. Uh, a couple more weeks later, you'll get one saying your car has been built. Uh, and with that one, I think it's when it's scheduled to be built or when it is built, you'll get a link to your window sticker that you can print off uh, with that. And then they give you a week time frame for your build date. So like mine was December 10th through December 15th or something. Um, with that being said, expect delays. They could push your car back a week. Luckily mine didn't get pushed back a week at this uh, step in the process. After it was built, it gets scheduled for delivery. Um, and they'll give you a week date frame for that. Uh, mine was January, January something through January 17th or something like that. They ended up putting my car on the wrong truck, sent it to the wrong dealership. So, it put, ah! it, excuse me. So uh, they ended up putting my Mustang on a wrong truck, going to the wrong dealership. So it pushed my delivery date back a week. So I had to wait an extra week to get my car. Um, I ended up getting it January 22nd. I believe I ordered it September 22nd, so perfect timing on the dates there. Uh, but, you know, ordering is definitely the way I would go with any car, I think, if I have time and then I don't need a car right away. You know, I got this one. My girlfriend's got the Taos, so it's not like we're in urgent need of cars at the moment, but I am looking to get a daily driver and I want a truck. And with me being able to daily drive this for a while, I probably will order a truck just because right now trucks still seem to be selling like crazy. So you go to a lot and they're not going to have the one with the options that you want. Uh, unless you travel far away but when you order a car expect delays 500 down it's refundable and if you end up getting the car it goes towards your final financing price or if you're paying cash it goes towards that as a down payment uh, whatever it may be um, but ordering below sticker versus a markup on a lot and you get to pick out all the options that you want um, I wanted to do it because you're not going to find any Mustangs with red seats on the lot. At least I didn't. I found one used one within 400 miles. Um, so I was able to get the red seats and the silver color together, uh, something that most people don't see a lot of. I know they're out there, but they're not for sale because um, people buy them up. I don't even think the dealerships order the red leather because I took this in for a service and the guy was confused. He asked if it was aftermarket and I was like, no, it came from the factory like that. Uh, so expect delays, even if there aren't delays, just expect it. Uh, you know, production, something could happen, it could stop. I know Ford has stopped on the new ones just due to quality control issues. Uh, expect delays on delivery date, on delivery date, because the truck could have a hiccup. They could send it to the wrong place like they did on mine. Uh, I think it waited a week to even get unloaded off the train. The train just sat there for a week before anybody unloaded it. Um, so just expect delays with that. In my opinion, I think ordering is the way to go if you have the chance to wait on your car for a couple months. You know, I only had to wait, ordered it in September, got it in January. So I didn't have to wait too long. Um, it wasn't, it sucked because, you know, you're impatient, you're waiting for your car, but it was worth the wait. Uh, I'm glad I didn't buy any other Mustang off the lot when I was shopping around, but if, if you do order, still shop around, put that in your back pocket as a negotiating tactic um, just to get the dealership to lower your price and watch dealerships because there are dealerships out there that you can order your car for MSRP and they'll give it to you below. And then there's dealerships that are going to make you put a huge deposit down and they're going to mark your car up. Um, so be careful where you go. If you live in Oklahoma, Bill Knight is where I got mine. I'll order a car from them every time if I ever get another Ford. Um, maybe I'll get an F-150, I don't know. 
I like the GMC truck, so that's what I'm looking at. But anyways, I'm rambling on. Um, that's the ordering process, and go order you a car.